The Adirondack Mountains are just full of iconic images all year long, which explains why so many photographers travel here from around the world and take hundreds of thousands of pictures. But what happens when just one local photographer falls in love with just one of those iconic images of the Adirondacks and photographs it thousands of times until suddenly it's gone? The Adirondack Mountains of far upstate New York have been a magnet for photographers ever since Seneca Ray Stoddard first shared his Adirondack images with the rest of the world. Today, these mountains are among the most photographed in America, with, it seems, another breathtaking image around every corner. Like this small red barn that once stood in the meadow at the intersection of State Routes 9 and 9N in the town of Keene. Here, surrounded by several of the high peaks of the Adirondacks, the barn was built in the 1950s to store hay and as a refuge for livestock. But the barn sat empty for many years, slowly leaning into the soft footing of the surrounding hills, with its red paint peeled from its clabberds by the fierce winter winds, and slowly becoming an iconic image at the foot of the high peaks, watched over by a lonely ancient elm. For photographers and painters alike, it was a scene impossible to pass up. Local photographer Michelle Buck couldn't pass it up either and stopped by many times over many seasons to catch the ever-changing moods of the scene. The barn just looked great where it was. The red against the green fields, the bluish, purplish, you know, mountains we have in the Adirondacks and back, the, the little hump of trees there over to the other side. It just, it just really completed the scene there. It was just so iconic. It is arguably one of the most photographed roadside scenes in the Adirondacks. If you talk to people, a lot of people are really familiar with that scene. Um, I just think they liked it also. By the summer of 2016, the barn was leaning badly but visitors still came to explore its rickety interior and to leave their names scratched into its walls. Deemed a non-conforming structure under the Adirondack Park Master Plan, the Department of Environmental Conservation stepped up in December of 2016 and demolished the barn. Without knowing of the plan to remove it, Michelle had already decided to do a picture book on the Red Barn. I actually had started to do a birthday present for my mother, creating one of these books on one of the gift sites on the internet. And then a couple weeks later, unbeknownst to me and most people, they tore it down without any notice. And I thought, what an opportune time. I had always wanted to publish a book of my photography and I, I knew the barn would be popular and, and people would want to remember it and hold it in their hands. Do you miss it? I do. I do. You know, if you didn't, if you knew that scene without the barn ever, it would be the stunning scene, it, it still is. Um, since you knew it with the barn, um, as an artist and a photographer, I miss it a lot.
Michelle's book, The Red Barn, can be found at select bookstores throughout the Adirondacks or online. Just contact her at michelle at northnet.org. For People Near Here on Mountain Lake Journal, I'm Derek Bearden. People Near Here on Mountain Lake PBS is supported by Valcor Brewing Company.